So there has been some talk about this brand on Twitter. Hey, career girls, welcome back to It's a Golden Lifestyle. I'm so glad you're here, as per usual. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, thanks for clicking on my video. If you're enjoying my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below. So there has been some talk about this brand on Twitter, and I wanted to try it out because after going to the website, I was like, those prices are really good and they're duping some really good brands so I wanted to purchase some of the stuff for myself and try it out for you guys so that we can see if it's worth the money that it costs even though it's not that expensive I got my package in today from copycat beauty um, just a disclaimer <laughs> I feel like I need to say this because someone's gonna watch this video and think that I like this girl that is the ambassador for this company. I don't. However, I do like a good deal. So I'm coming on here just to try this stuff out and see if it's worth spending our money at all. Like I'm gonna take the bullet so you guys don't have to, or I'm gonna take the bullet so that you guys can purchase and get some good stuff. So. This is the package that I got. I got the Peach Sangria Palette, Exposed 2, which I think is blush. And I got Beach Glow, which is highlighter. I also got the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in gold. And I got a lip gloss in the color GLGO4, which I just purchased it because I thought the color was cute. I also got an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner, because I love liquid eyeliner, and I wanted to test two of the brushes, which is the foundation brush and then the brush that I would be using for my contour. So, let's start with, um, I want to start with, I'm gonna start with Expose 2, which is the blush palette. This one is supposed to be compared to, let me pull it up. Expose 2 is supposed to be compared to Narcissist uh, by NARS Wanted 2 Cheek Palette. So this is what it actually looks like. And it does have all of the ingredients on the back. It's a lot to read. Um, some of these I can't even pronounce. <laughs> There's lots of ingredients on the back. So this is what it looks like. Okay. The image makes the cheek palette looks like it would be more pigmented, but let's see what the payoff is. I mean, I like the colors that they have here. I think that the colors will come, come off of my cheeks really nicely. It's just that the image did make it look like they were deeper toned. So um, we'll try that out. Then I also got the Peach Sangria palette. This one is compared to Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow palette that retails for $50. I purchased this for $9 and I didn't say, that um, blush palette I purchased for $9 and the cheek palette that it's comparing to the NARS is $60. Um, compared to the image, it looks pretty similar. It looks pretty similar to the image, so that's good. And then the last thing I got is the Beach Glow and the Beach Glow is compared to Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit that retails for $40. I got this for $9. What I'm gonna do now is start applying my makeup and tell you guys what I think as I'm applying the makeup. So I'm gonna come in a little bit closer so we can really see my face. I'm gonna use my favorite foundation, which I feel like is my perfect match and it's Lancome TNT Doll 24 Hour Makeup. I wear the color 470 Sweet C or Sue C, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna start with that and use the buffing brush. Okay, this buffing brush is called the Round Buffer Brush. It costs $3.99 and, um, and it's supposed to be compared to Marc Jacobs buffing brush uh, that retails for 48 bucks. So let's see if I like this brush. So far, I really like the brush. I feel like it is spreading my foundation around really well. I'm getting my foundation in there. <laughs> I 
think that did a really good job. All right, I like the brush. I like the buffing brush. So, so far we have one thumbs up. So now I'm just going to use my ColourPop concealer and do my under eyes and set it and do all that jazz with the rest of my base. And then we're gonna come back and start working on our eyes. Okay, now that I have a uh, concealer on, I have my foundation on and I have powder on, um, underneath my eyes, I wanna start working on my shadow. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is my crease color. And this shadow palette has no names on the front, has no names on the back. Um, so I can't even tell you what the name of the shadow is, but I'll try by just putting the color in the corner. So I'm gonna go in with a brown color for my crease. Um, just tapping in, it is powdery like most eyeshadows are, so that's a good sign so far. It's not like I'm having to drag my brush into it to pick some color up, so. And I also put some um, concealer on my eyelid so that I have kind of like a base. So I'm gonna put my color on top of. Um, so let's just go in. It's kind of light, so I'm gonna go in with one more coat. For the transition. So I wanna pack in another brown color in my crease here. So I'm going to take my other brush and use the other brown color in the palette. Pick that up and see how that comes up. Okay, I kind of had to dig into the brown to get that color to come up, so. Glad it's showing now though. Welcome to the party. I like the browns. Looks like a nice transition. Okay. Okay, and so on top of my lid, I want to use the gold glitter. So I'm gonna use what seems to be their like goldy yellow tinted shadow and put that on my lid. I wanna see how it does with a brush first and then I'll go and use my finger and see how that does. So this is with the brush. It's coming off kind of white, not so much gold. Um, let me get close here. Yeah, it's not coming out like the color that's in the palette. Uh, let me get really close so you guys can see. Okay, but um, all right. <laughs> Okay. Now I'm gonna go with my finger and see if that makes a difference. Maybe it's because I used a brush and not my finger. So typically what I would do when I'm putting shadow on my lid is use my finger. So let's try that and see if it comes out a little bit more pigmented. See, so it comes out kind of yellowy gold on my finger. And now I just want to go back in and blend this out a bit. So I feel like the eyeshadow blends really well, so that's good. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with the Stilla dupe, which I was really excited about this because I love those Stilla things, but they're just so expensive. Um, <laughs> I picked it out the thing and I was like, this looks, this looks like it's gonna be 
this looks like it's gonna be bad but <laughs> let's just try it and see here we go I'm nervous So I think the color of the glitter is nice, um, but I think that it's a little too blotchy on my eyelids. Um, you guys can see like I kind of have some some skin showing right here where there should be glitter. And then on this side, you can kind of see a little bit of blotchiness with the glitter. Um, so I am unsure about the glitter. <laughs> and yeah all right anyway let's just keep pressing forward next thing i want to use is the eyeliner i'm hopeful because i love a good liquid eyeliner and this pin top looks bomb this is supposed to be compared to let's see this is supposed to be compared to tarte this retails for four dollars and the tarte one retails for twenty dollars nineteen dollars So I didn't mind the liquid eyeliner marker. It definitely goes on like a marker. And um, yeah, so I like the eyeliner marker. Let me put some mascara on and then we'll get into the contour, the blush, and the highlighter. <laughs> All right, now let's get into the blush. The Exposed 2 palette. Like I told you it's supposed to be like the NARS one that costs what, 50 or $60? I'm gonna go in with this middle color here. This also doesn't have colors on it. Okay, so here's dip, dip, dip. That's how much got on my brush from that. Tap some off. All of it came off. <laughs> All right, so let's dip one. Okay, I used this brush for the blush and I'm not liking it for the blush. It's not spreading it out enough for me. It's kind of just, you see how it's just like in that one spot. So let me try it with my Morphe brush. Dip, dip, tap a little off. And I always tap a little bit of blush off because I don't want to come out looking like a clown. So I tapped it off this one and it still stayed on there. So that's good. I think that the color is good. It matches what's actually in the palette. Um, the problem I'm having is that it's not blending very well. You guys see me like going ham, like I'm. <laughs> and I still see like this right here. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on y'all. And the next thing I wanna do Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my contour. I'm using a ColourPop uh, foundation stick and a color that's darker than me. Okay, and now I wanna use this brush and blend it out and let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do the other cheek with a different brush and see if it's me or if it's the brush. 
is my Morphe brush, same shape that I use for blending my uh, contour. So I'm gonna do this side and see, so we can see, okay? Okay, and then let's look at the difference. See, this side is blended a little bit more. I mean, I, yes, I could blend some more, okay, yes. But that side, and then here's this side using their brush. So, yeah, mm, yeah, no. Now let's get into the highlighter. I'm gonna leave this like this too. Y'all go, I gotta deal with putting it on. Y'all gonna deal with looking at it. The highlighting palette is one of the things that I was most excited about. I love a good highlighter. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this color here. Again, no shades, no nothing like that. So I'm tapping. I'm using my Morphe brush because I only bought two brushes from them, thank God. Um, but here is the highlight. So I don't mind the highlight either. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like, um, <laughs> just because, mind you, I do love highlight. I have more than enough highlight palettes. I think that it spread really well, but I think, you know, it's a little chalky looking. That's the only thing. It's kind of like the same with the eyeshadow. It's just a little chalky. But I mean, for $9, I mean, how high of an expectation can I have when I spent less than $10 on the thing? I'm just saying it's supposed to be a comparison to something that's really expensive. So <clears throat> I want it to be like a good comparison, you know? So now I'm just gonna use my powder brush and blend all of this together and then I'll come back and we can do the lipstick. All right, so this is the lipstick shade that I got. We go right in, no liner, no nada. <laughs> It has a scent, kind of perfumey. Ooh, I love this color. And I like the um, application wand. It's like bending to the shape of my lip, that's bomb. I like the lip. I would definitely use this as like a keep it in my purse. I want a little bit of color. I like it. I think it looks good. All right. So I'm going to spray my face down and I'm going to come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay. So here are my final thoughts on the copycat beauty go to beauty i don't really know which one is their name it's being promoted as copycat beauty but all the packaging says go to beauty so i don't know um so let you guys pretty much heard my i you guys pretty much heard my thoughts as i was putting my makeup on but just as a recap um the highlight palette was okay if it was like a one out of five i would say this is like a three I would give the highlighter a three. I would give the blush a one out of five, one being the least and five being the best. <clears throat> one out of five, I would give this blush palette a two because I don't think that it, nah, I think it picked up color. Nah, I'm sticking with my two. I'm gonna keep a two on this because I didn't like the blending of this. I didn't think that it blended very well, so I'm keeping this at a two. With the eyeshadow palette, I would give this probably a one out of five. I would give this like a 2.75 or two and a half. 
uh, because the colors are muted. I think brown look came up really good, but I don't see how you can go wrong with brown. The gold color kind of came out frosty white and not really gold. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this a two and a half. Yeah, that's my that's my number and I'm sticking to it. The glitter, the glitter stick for the eyes, one out of five, I'm gonna give this a one. <laughs> the color was great, so I got a point for that. Ah, uh, okay, I'll give it a one and a half. The color was great, so I'll give it one point for that. And then the half point is for the applicator. I thought the applicator was good. It bent, it went to the shape of my eye. That was great. But it's big glitter dots and some of them were falling off as I was putting on my eyeliner. So that was frustrating. And um, it was kind of blotchy on my eyelids. In some spaces, I still had skin showing through the glitter, even though I was packing it on that space. So this is a one and a half out of five. I wouldn't recommend buying this. I would say just invest the money and get the Stella. And then the lipstick. I like the lipstick. I like this one. So out of one out of five, I would give this a, had it on for a minute. It's not tacky. Feels good. I think out of the lipstick, I would give this a five. I would also give the buffing brush a five. I love this for my foundation. It's spread really evenly really fast love this and this brush i would give a 0 0.5 <laughs> i didn't like it <laughs> i didn't like it for my blush and i didn't like it for my contour um and it's an angled brush so it should work for one of those things and it didn't so don't get this brush so yeah here we go here's my faves right here the buffing brush and the lip gloss so if you're going to spend your money at copycat beauty i would say get these two items and avoid the other stuff and just spend the money because I think you get your money's worth. If you just invest, save up a little bit here and there if you really want those products and purchase that. But if you wanna get something from this company, I definitely love the buffing brush and I love the lip gloss. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to It's a Golden Lifestyle. I'll see you on the next episode.